So the first thing you're going to want to do is download these three heart graphics. I'm going to put them as a link in the description, so feel free to grab those. The first thing you're going to do is open After Effects. You're going to click a new composition. You're going to name it uh, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name mine Heart Loop uh, Black, White, Blue, which are the colors I'm using today. Um, make it 1920 by 1080, uh, 24 FPS frame rate, and then the other settings are fine. Click OK. Uh, first thing you're going to do is import these heart graphics by grabbing them and just dragging them into this project panel up here. So you'll see them load in a bit. There they are. One, two, three. Grab heart one and drag it into this timeline thing at the bottom here and just drop it and you'll see it right there. Click here and drag. Make it two seconds. So it goes from zero to two. Um, and then click this little arrow and then next to transform, click that little arrow. Uh, you'll see something that says scale. What you're gonna wanna do is click the thing next to scale. It's like a little stopwatch icon. Press that and then um, where it says 100%, uh, just drag it to about 3%. You can also just type it in too, it's a little bit faster. Uh, drag this blue little line thing to the end, like of two seconds about, and then uh, change this from three to 330, should be a good enough size to like fill the whole screen. So now it goes from three to 330, and what that does is it animates it so it pops out at you. So this is what it looks like. So basically, we're gonna do that three more times, or two more times. Um, now do heart two, do drag it into the timeline. Uh, we're gonna do exactly what we just did with the first one, go to two seconds, go to transform, go to scale, uh, press that, oh wait, drag this thing to the start, and then press that thing, where it says scale, and then uh, go to three, and then we're gonna go to the end, type in 330. So now this one does that. All right, one more time. Uh, heart three, drag it there, um, make it two seconds. Press that, press that, uh, press scale. Go to three and then go to the end and then do 330. So now we have all three doing the exact same thing. So this is the last kind of tricky part is we're gonna stack them so they all spawn at like different intervals, like right after the other. So first is a heart one, we go to heart two. Um, we're gonna go to about like right here. I'm just eyeing it. Um, you just don't want it to start like right on top of the other one. So now this one will start, then this one will start, then this one will start. This is what it'll look like. That's pretty good. And I just eyed this. I'm not sure if they're exact. Um, they should be though. There, I think that's exact. Okay, so now that they do that, um, you're gonna click part three, press shift and hold shift, and then click part one. That'll highlight all of them. Uh, you're going to press Control c or Command c if you have a Mac, and then uh, paste it using Control v or Command v if you have a Mac, and that'll just paste what we just made. Um, go ahead and stack those like about the same time as when you did the others, so they're all about like equal distance, uh, and this is what that'll look like. So as you can see, the effect's starting to take hold. Uh, you're going to do this one more time. And then uh, start it. You can just eye, it doesn't have to be precise though. Um, it does help. So, this is what we have now. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is make this loop. Um, we don't have to do anything else with those. So, what you're gonna do is uh, put this thing at the very beginning so it's at zero. Uh, press heart three, hold shift, go down at the bottom, click. Uh, that highlights everything and what we're gonna want to do is have this fill up the entire space here So you don't see any of this like checkerboard pattern. 
So we're going to take this and drag it to the left until it completely fills up the space. There we go. So now it covers all of it. Um, what this will do is help it loop. So now see this frame right here, how this white-ish, like the bright heart is that size. We're gonna wanna try to find this frame. Like we're gonna keep going forward until we see that frame. There, it's like right about there. So um, take a zoom out. Uh, you can zoom out by, or just press this thing here. Go to the very end and click this little blue thing and drag it like all the way to where that line is where you found. And now it should go from here to here. So now it starts right where it left off. So when you press space, now it loops. Okay, so now you just created the Powerpuff Girls ending scene. Um, now we're going to color it. So to color it, you're gonna go to effects and presets right here, click that. You're gonna type hue, hue saturation, and you're gonna click it and you're gonna drag it to heart one. So we'll work with heart one first. So we're gonna try to get like a bluish color. So you can change the colors here. As you can see, it's changing. Uh, we're gonna try to get like a nice like sky blue. And you can change hue and saturation too. Uh, just try to get that color that you want. So I think that's about good. So if I want to repeat this, I'm going to press uh, control copy or you can do that. I prefer doing command C or control C and then go to heart one, paste it there and then click the other heart one, do it there. Okay, now we're gonna do heart two. So heart two, go to the hue saturation, heart two. For this one, we're gonna make it black. And in order to make that color, you just take away all of the lightness. So just drag lightness to zero. And yeah, there you have black. So control copy that, go to heart two. Bam, heart two, paste. Okay, so now we just have part three left. So to do that, just take that, part three. Um, this one, we're gonna turn the lightness all the way up and that'll make this whitish color. So copy that, go to part three, paste it, part three, paste it. So there you go, now we have the full loop going with the colors that we want. So the next thing you're gonna do to export this is you're gonna go to File, go to Export, go to Add to Render Queue right here. So you want just the best settings, uh, lossless, these things just leave them as they are. For output, this is where you're gonna wanna choose where it outputs to. If you click it, um, you can say you want it to go to desktop, have the name that you want, click Save and then you're gonna press render. Okay, so now we have this here. Put it right there. So the last thing we're gonna do is open up a, any video editing software should work. I'm gonna use Premiere Pro just cause it's easy. So you're gonna click a new project Heart, blue, blue, black, white, 10 minute version. Click okay. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is import media. So you're gonna take this new file you just made, drag it there. There it is. So now it's right there. You're gonna click that and you're gonna drag it here. So all I did was click here and I just held down the, while I clicked and dragged it into this area here. So now there it is. But as you see, it's really short. We want it to be longer, but because we made it a perfect loop, we can copy it and paste it as many times as we want. And it'll just keep going like nonstop. So basically what you're gonna do is just press Control C, just copy it 
many times as you want. I know there's probably a more efficient way to do this, but hey, it works. So there, it's about 10 minutes long. So then here we go. Now it goes for 10 minutes. So once you've stacked it and made it as long as you want, um, you're gonna go to File, Export, Media, and then here, you're gonna name it, uh, Export Video. Um, you can leave all these the same, as long as it's like 10, 1080 by 1920, you should be good. Uh, and just go ahead and click Export. All right, and there we go. That's how I make these heart animations. Uh, if you have any questions, or if I didn't explain anything well enough, feel free to leave a comment and I can get back to you. Um, if you have any colors that you would like made, assuming you don't have After Effects, just feel free to ask and I can just make it. If this video helped you, uh, feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it, and thanks for watching.